gonna tell y'all a little bit of story about uh, Michael and all of them. They, they one year in this, it was about, he was doing the 70s and uh, it was at the Mill Run Theater in Skokie, Illinois. And one thing that got me, we was already being some bad kids. Me and my brother Randy, we was all out there at the balcony uh, taking balloons, dropping them down on people's head from the hotel. We got in trouble about that. But what really got me to see all of the women that was coming to see Michael. And we was up on the 11th floor of the hotel and we was looking out the window and didn't see nothing but a, just a sea of women, far as you could see, man. It was a, just unbelievable. But anyhow, they, they messed around and found out how to get up on the fire escape up to the 11th floor of the hotel. And we was in there having a pillow fight at the time or something was going on. And uh, some young ladies knocked on the door. And uh, I wanted to answer the door. Michael told me not to answer the door because he already knew someone right about somebody knocking on the door. So I told him, it's okay, cuz, I got this. I put my foot up against the door. Opened up the door, and all I seen was hands trying to get in the door, screaming and hollering. All they wanted for him just to sign, and they put his uh, autograph on their hand. And uh, I was a strong little young man because they couldn't get in that door. And Mike was making sure they were getting in that door so he couldn't get in no trouble. But anyhow, he went ahead and he was signing the young lady's hands, and they each and every one on the hand that he was signing. When they pulled their hand out and looked at the hand and make sure that they seen that MJ on their hand. They were just fading at the door. Security had to run up the stairs. They got up the stairs and had to start putting people out of the building. Well, me and my brother Randy, boy, we was in trouble. We was constantly in trouble almost every day. We was doing so bad. <laughs> it was terrible. But uh, we had our good days there. We had our bad days there. I remember when they even had a bomb threat. And uh, that's what really got me. They took us down these stairs. We went through these tunnels and pipes, and by the time we come, got through moving and running and getting out the way, we was way down the street in another building. We looked outside, and you could look and see where we was at, and it was like two streets over. We were trying to get out of there. They, they was trying to uh, threaten about doing some harm because of uh, Michael and the fame that he had even at that time. This was in the 70s. This had to be 70... Oh, man, it had to be like, I think around about 74, 75. And uh, after that, I hadn't heard from him in a good long while. And next thing I know, 2003, it was all on again. <laughs> <laughs> but this time, it was all about the music thing. Everybody wanted to play. The old man, my father, wanted to play. He's a blues player. Tito, he was ready to play. We had Johnny Jackson there. He came from Gary with me. Uh, who else? My brothers. We had this nice family reunion. My daughter, my mother. And uh, oh, we had a jam night that night. Matter of fact, if you look on that photo that we have of all of us, you see me standing up there at the top with my black dog on. I got that style from Gary. Are you telling Big pimp. Are you telling about when... Um when you was playing at the uh, the talent show and then Mike was going, you know, he was going. Oh, yeah, a lot of people didn't even know that me and my brother Keith was even musicians at the time, I don't think, because when we started playing, a lot of people was like, they even looking like they were shocked. They couldn't believe that we played that well. They didn't think that uh, it was anybody else even playing, I don't think, you know, besides my cousins, but what they didn't know is, me and my brother, hey, we've been playing for a lot of years. You know, I got a chance to meet a lot of people. It just that my success has never been that great because of the people that I always have dealt with. They couldn't see as far as I, far as I could see. And I used to try to tell people about how, it, how they can make it. But, you know, a lot of people, they don't believe in that. They believe in whatever they believe in. And by me being around a lot of older guys at the time, even, it was like a hinder for me. But I got tired of all that. You know, and especially like after 2003, after the family reunion, I figured I'd just start doing things myself. So I started producing myself, you know, producing and writing. And now I got a, like a library of music that haven't been heard yet, but it's going to be heard. And uh, uh, picked up some of the music because he, he loved it. He, you know, it reminded him of a lot of things. And uh, now we got 10 songs we're going to do and we're about to put out this record. It's out. And I hope all of y'all 
got your ears open for some real music. It won't be no looping in it. It's everything is being played. I got another topic I want to talk about. Uh, me and my family, we coming out with some t-shirts. And one of the topics on the t-shirt is going to be DNA doesn't matter. Because a lot of people know you got a lot of people in your family that's not blood related, but it don't matter. They're in the family and they're family. A lot of people don't understand that, uh, you know, sometimes it don't matter about the blood thing is how you treat people, especially being black today. We need to learn how to uh, uh, be more responsible about for what we do and how we treat people because it seems like all the cultures that's on earth today kind of got they stuff together and it's like the brothers and sisters today, we still need a lot of work. But uh, check it out. That's one of the reasons why we got DNA Don't Matter, one of the t-shirts, and then uh, we're gonna have some t-shirts that also have the second coming on it because that's part of the album that I'm doing. And we're gonna uh, make sure that's out for people to get their hands on and buy. And uh, we'll have all the information for you coming up pretty soon. Thank you.